Fellow Spartans, how are you doing? And welcome back to another episode of the last Roman campaign on Total War Attila as the Roman Expedition. And you join us now at a pretty precarious point for Balisarius. He is surrounded by two forces of the Berbers here, and he's outnumbered pretty badly, and he could face certain defeat. I don't know if he will die completely. If he does obviously lose the battle and he does get slain in battle, if he actually die or just obviously um, take wounds and replenish after a few turns, who knows? But uh, either way, it's not looking good at all. So let's kick things off with this episode and jump straight into this battle. So yes, now I've said this on my previous video, the Sassid Empire campaign, which was released before, and I'll say it again, obviously, in terms of the future of these campaigns, I'm going to complete them. Um, most of them will be completed up to the point of a minor victory and uh, we'll have a look and see how far we are away from that with this campaign after this battle and just make sure all these campaigns are sort of neatly finished off to a certain extent so when Warhammer comes out which we've now been told the release date of which is the 28th of April next year um, that we're at a position where these campaigns say, are finished off to a degree and we've got some completion on them. So that's what I want to achieve with all of them that I'm doing at the moment. So my Wrath you know, of Sparta, this, Western Roman Empire, uh, Sassanid Empire, etc. And we'll see how things progress from there. So uh, let's carry on, see how we go with this battle. As I say, I'm not holding much hope, but we will go down as fighting heroes. But yeah, then basically what I'll do is I'll say I'll get to the point with all the campaigns we have achieved hopefully a minor victory and then after that I will ask you guys to vote for which campaign you want me to carry on after that um, in terms of actually you know going beyond a minor victory and, and, and taking it further basically so uh, I'll be asking you guys at that point via a vote of which one you want me to carry on so uh, but we need to get to that position with all our campaigns beforehand so we'll find out in the next few months hopefully so let's start the battle. Okay, yes, the balance of power is fine for the moment, but it's the bloody reinforcements they've got coming, which is going to be a problem. So that's the main army there. Desert Chieftain. Everything is looking rosy for the moment, and then suddenly, boom. Here comes the balance of power right down now. Yeah. And it's dropping very, very quickly here. Okay, so we've got two units. Balasarius is a unit of Cav as well as our unit of Scout Equites. We're going to have to use Balasarius in this battle. There's no doubt about it. We can't afford not to. Um, but we hopefully... That's a bit of a stutter, wasn't it? The discipline of the force we've got should allow us to hold out for period of time for how long I cannot say but uh, it will hopefully give us an opportunity to try and do some damage against the enemy let's get these guys into defensive test too though and courage that's what he, these guys have got the preventories that tree's getting in our way bloody hell come on oh no 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 not you no 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 not you you. Oh, flipping it. I can't position my men there because that bloody tree, right? I'll go there then. Oh, it's because of. No. What it is. Dumbo me. It's because of the sediment defensive test too, before we'd even position them in line properly. That's why. Oh, God. What a div. <laughs> what a div. Okay, right. Now they're in position, hopefully. I was me thinking it was that sodding tree and it wasn't. Right, now we're going to defensive test two though. Yeah, right, okay. Cav keep going further out. Now obviously these guys are going to be grouping together for one almighty push against me in a second. Which is understandable. Try and just angle these guys 
to the right a little bit. So we've got here the three three ranks deep. Mm, we need to be a bit bit more compact than that. Go for four ranks deep. Right, Cav. Continue to move further out to the right hand side. This is their battle formations. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit here. Just numbers. It's just because, of course, we knew why this all happened to come about. It's because of the fact that I had to sell a load of my troops because suddenly the unit or the army that was in Italia that was free to upkeep has now started to cost me money. And the fact I had to disband an army, I think it was Ar John the Armenian's army, before he passed and God rest his soul, we had to, I think, disband that army, and that had a lot of buildings of economic value in it, so that's where I've lost the money in this situation. So I need to be mindful of that and try and rebuild everything relatively quickly, because we were doing quite well with this campaign, but it's suddenly just taken a bit of a, a nosedive. For the moment, hopefully it won't remain as so. We can pull it back. Right, so just going to angle this line a little bit more that way. Playing with us a bit here. Playing with us a bit. Tier one, tier one, tier one. So these units will straight away drop if we can get him down but the thing is he's been protected quite heavily by these units of cav there okay spread them out a bit so they've got a bit more coverage over there Put them on precision shot. What are they doing? They are not establishing a defensive position, are they? Surely not. They are the attackers, for God's sake. Oh, 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 oh. They're coming across. They're coming across. These cavalry units are. Let's see if we can draw them into our line of infantry. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Preventorias, we need you to be on point here because they're coming around on the right flank. Oh my god, come on, get into that line. Come on, Cav, for God's sake. Oh. Right, let's deal with these guys first. Whatever you do, do not bloody attack. What are you doing? Stop going straight for the cavalry units and come out of the melee attack. Go round the back. Light skirmishers, we can take these guys down. Third javelin there. Okay, guys, stop firing. Not done too bad there. Could have be worse. Could be better. Moving, we've, we've yeah, we've caught up with these. The enemy is going for our general. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, Scout it says, come back, come back, come back. Palasarius get back as well. I actually think they're sitting back. I doubt if, it, if they are, that's just crazy. Oh, they've bloody roused our scout of Cortez, I don't believe it. Damn.
Right, they are moving forward now. Okay. Right, fine. Oh, oh, they're coming for us. Try and see if we can catch up with them. Actually, no, that, that the uh, that the archers do the job actually. Keep your shields up. Keep your shields up. Right, archers are firing down. They should do some damage now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, hello. Fair enough, fair enough. Doing a cheeky charge there. It's like Palisades can come across now. Right, oh, they've routed. Pull back, pull back. See, this side's now taking a little bit of a battering, but hopefully, hopefully, if they go attack from this way, we won't lose too many more men on this right hand side, which is obviously good. I'm giving them a volley to finish them off. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Game over. Right. Get yourselves back into formation. Evan Torres, prepare yourselves, man. Stand strong. Oh, brace yourselves, man. Encourage. You can't encourage yourself, right? Don't go for that unit of calf. You're going to hit your own men, archers, for God's sake. The general's right at the back there. I'm going to have to commit the uh, cavalry units there because they take a lot of battering. The preventors there are. Our units wavering already, taking them on the right flank as well. God, the lines already break him. Of course it does. It was never with us. It was never with us. Everyone's engaged. Valasaurus, you're keeping strong there. Pull out, pull out, pull out. We lost two men so far with the cavalry units, so that's not too bad. Okay, Germanic Hunters, see if you can go around to get him. Drive them away. No, 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 this way, this way, wait. Oh. Oh, for God's sake, Cav. Bloody really idiots sometimes. Say you go for the Cav, we need Say the, the Arch, you need And you go for the bloody Cav. What are you doing? I don't know. Well, I did tell them to go for the Cav afterwards, but they were just going for this... No, they're going over this way, I want to go that way. Playing out. Doesn't matter. What's done is done. God, Balasaurus is going to crumble in a second. I think, yeah. Okay, Balasaurus, try and pull out. I well, know it's going to be probably suicide, but. And if you do die, then it is game over. Just trying to get. Trying to get them in range of our archers. Desert Chieftain, oh my god. Ah, so it's wounded then, he won't actually die. So at least we won't completely lose Balasaurus in this campaign. Oh, the line's broken. How many, how many would he kill in the end? Oh, just under. 700 men, but they completely wiped the floor with us in, with us in the end. Ah, damn. Decisive defeat. Never mind, we lost 836 men. They lost 642 in the end. It's always going to be against us. So Balasarius lives. So 
So he had to replenish himself or, re re or sort of rest and heal. And then hopefully he will come back to fight another day. But now the Berbers are after us and they're laying siege to whatever they can, they can get from us. At least we haven't got as much money lost now because we've lost that army, which is okay. So, Asian hostile uh, hostile Asian activity failure. Well, that's good. Attrition. Attrition. Flipping heck, right? How can I serve ah, okay, right. We've got, of course, we've got this huge army, the twenty stacker, that's going to come down in a second, which hopefully will seek vengeance. But we have to be careful because. If we do, then this army could come across and finish them off, finish us off, which we don't want to have, obviously. They are in quite close proximity there, so it would be difficult. Spy, could you do anything? Could you hinder them in some way? That will decrease their movement range a little bit. Come on, come on, failure, flipping phenomenal. Right, I don't think I want to risk attacking them now at the moment because if we do, we could bring in a larger army than we've got for the moment. So we're going to just pull back to here. March. Ready for further orders. And then what we shall do is just sit, sit strong there for the moment. Damn it, I forgot the reinforcement. Movement stance then. Never mind. We hunger for battle. Now, what's this army looking like? Okay, full 20 stacker again here. So we've only got two armies left already, haven't we? We're sieging there. Neapolis should fall soon. That city still remains under the Ostrogothic Empire, but hopefully we can take that down ourselves or they will at some point in the near future. I'm not bringing this army back all the way back down there now, it's too far away. Um, what we'll first we'll do is we'll deal with this Germanic Rebellion here. And then we're not going to go up that way to Ascalon because there's quite a large army there, especially combined with the Garrison army. We'll go this way instead. Go up this sort of west coast of Italia here and we'll go for the, uh, the Eternal City of Rome at that point. And then we can uh, hopefully break these three armies up and they can start to uh, move in on these other regions that Yashogas hold. So we need to get something that's going to give us money, 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 money. So 200 wealth from culture, food con um, consumption is minus 10, but integrity plus 3. Yeah, we're going to have to go for officers' tents, I think. Yeah. Oh god, look at that. More money per turn. Okay, it's gone out to minus 57 now. Okay, we're going to encampment stance again, so that's okay. So I'm not too concerned now. We are we are okay. Men are replenishing. We'll lose a little bit of money, but I'm not overly, as I say, concerned at the moment. Unfortunately, as I say, I forgot to take these out of uh, Force march, and then I would have been able to put these in in, in in encampment stance as well. When I probably wouldn't have lost any money at all at that point, but I won't forget for next time. Well, we'll get this one back on track, guys. I'm not too concerned. But yeah, my conscious thing here is hello. Oh. Flip. We can retreat back. I can't. <laughs> That's a weak stack army, for God's sake. I don't think, no, if we do retreat, they'll be able to have enough movement range left. Oh, unless they do this, which you probably will. Oh, no, we killed him. Thank God for that. Well, at least we stabbed him. And we may have wounded him. But either way, we can hopefully get back, pull back, especially down to... Yes, thank God for that. Oh, no. Oh, phew. Right, okay, 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 okay. Let's just regroup here. Big old failure. Wonderful. Bankrupt. However, the money's gone back up. Ah, we completed an objective, so we've got uh, 
a little bit of coin there. So we've got some treasury. So what's the next thing? Survive until the following date, 540. And we'll have, look, we'll have a look at that in a minute, actually. So defamation. Unscrupulous rival has spread foul rumours about a member of your family. Give the order and they will be silenced. So uh, pay him off. We'll lose influence for Balasarius. He's got loads of influence. Or we ignore him, but we lose control. And we gain the trade of out of favour. I'll just pay him off. Lose a bit of influence. We can we can afford that. Army withdraws. Right. Balasarius is back in the fray. Right, okay, 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 okay. Garrison army here, Stiphysus, what have you got for us? Can you tell me anything about in terms of Garrison force? You cannot. It should be okay though. Just thinking we pull them back to there. For the moment it is, and then encamp again. So if they do attack us, we should have the garrison force to support us for the moment. So we'll just play that one by you for a little bit longer. Um, okay, these guys can push on. Right, destroy them. All of resolve that battle. So that's like Germanic rebellion crushed. One last thing to worry about. Okay, take on the warriors. To the, ends of the world. Into the world for Rome. Of course you will. Is Neapolis falling any bloody time soon? Surely it should be going in a minute. It's turn before surrender. Six more turns. Okay. Are we moving on Rome soon, ladies and gentlemen? Is that all? Come on. Right, so again, it's encampment stance for you gentlemen. One more turn to that's complete. So at least we're back in positive income now, which is definitely the main thing. Let's have a quick look at our military objectives. So if we're going to go for uh, expedition victory, not the the actual triumph, just the expeditionary victory, victory, we need to reclaim 40 settlements. We've also already done 30. So that's good. We need to do them in particular regions though. So there... Yeah, Neapolis, Roma, we're doing that. Asculum. Yeah, these are ones we're going to be obviously naturally taking back, so that's fine. Research technologies, we've done 11, we need to do 16. Sure, the faction does not settle. Maintains 140, we only got 60 at the moment, so we need to make a backup. At the end of your turn, you must have an income of at least 10,000. Right, okay, so there's work to do, but it's definitely is achievable. Definitely achievable. So, Ostrogothic Empire, what have you got left for us? You, you have got an army down now in Roma, so at least you're taking that city seriously, <laughs> um, which is obviously good to see. You need to, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, it's Roma. You can't leave that undefended if the Roman Empire are to attack. We need to have a big battle there, hopefully. Oh god, here we go. Get the, they are literally chasing me through the ends of the earth, aren't they, to get to me? Sorry, annoyed here. So we don't actually get any support from the, the garrison force here. There's no garrison force to defend with. Pull back. We'll pull back. Again, hopefully we'll be out of range. I think we are. Oh, we've taken Stiffus's back as well. So we're back to square one with the Berbers. Well, hopefully now we can actually just regroup ourselves in Africa with that with that move does, that's happened and the fact that the Berbers have taken Stiffus back, they've pushed us back, we've lost Balasarius. Hopefully we can just regroup a little bit now, give us a bit of time to re-establish ourselves and then we can push back against them once, once more. But uh, I think that was probably required actually because I think, we, I think we went too far with what we had in terms of resources down there and the fact we didn't have two armies, we couldn't really make the men's or make the the dent we wanted to do so uh, but at least we're now replenishing and we can just sit back a little bit there now could we dare to have peace with these guys just for the moment the door is up. no they don't even want to listen time. well we're gonna have to just pull back a little bit further a little bit further just to get out of their reach because they are so close to me now. 
and we can just just take our time hopefully now so go back into it um encampment mode market stalls oh wealth that is without question i think the one we've got to go for a thousand gold yeah we'll go for that market stalls thank you very much that will give us a huge boost to our is it is it a thousand thousand gold That's per turn it i think it is We'll have to take that, so that'll be a big boost there. So that's that, and we shall carry on. Now we are in range of Roma. The great city is in our grasp, and we shall just continue it. Because look at the garrison's force: six thousand men. Is it six thousand men? Yeah, look at that. Oh God, this is one. So one ticket for destruction. So ladders, two sets of ladders. No, actually just one. Let them cower before Rome. Now I was, I was, and you know this, guys. I was gonna say, I was gonna give you guys the option of voting for after Roma, after it Your fell. Orders. If you want me to then establish my own expeditionary, so establish my own faction, or carry on as an expeditionary force. And a lot of people. When I said that, that could be an option, we're dead against it because he said you're just literally, you just in in some ways like a suicide move because you wouldn't be able to cope with it because obviously you would straight away become at war with the Roman Empire. You'd have one region here, Roma. You'd start to incur straight away food issues and monetary issues and you just crumble in about three or four turns so it would just be suicidal if i did that so we are going to carry this on as an expeditionary force if you guys are you know dead against it then do, do let me know in the comments but i don't think there's enough there for, for even to try and sway me to go against them and become my own state or my own faction because the risk is too much it completely outweighs the reward of doing it it's just suicidal if i did that i think we'd be campaign over so i think we will stay as we are as an expeditionary force but if you are dead against it do let me know do let me know and voice your reasons why and you never know it could have enough weight to sway me but uh, i don't think it's going to happen and um, for the moment it's going to we're going to stay as we are it'll just completely turn this campaign on its head it'll change the dynamics of everything and it'd be just too much. It'd be just too much to uh, endure. What the hell? What? But, but what, who are these for? Oh, I completely misread another event message again. And just not seen this you, this army that, that's been uh, produced for me again. Unbelievable. Well, okay. We will all resolve it. Fair enough. We've won the battle. Did we lose many men? A few, a few. Uh, we didn't lose anyone completely, though. Is that that must have been a gift from Justinian or someone again? I don't know. But I've completely—that's the second time I've seen that happen, and I've just completely ignored it. And now, as we're just about to take Roma, they've pissed off the Roman Empire. The three sorry, the three armies we had that were going to support us in that battle just buggered off. I don't believe it. What are the Berbers doing? Oh god, oh my god. Um Ooh Right, that's a pretty difficult decision. Do we support? Do we decline? Is it winnable? Cause obviously Again, Africa's dynamics have changed entirely now Now that we have got that other army just off the coastline now, which is going to come into Africa in the next turn and then we, we'll bring them across wherever that army's come from and then they will obviously support these guys in the push back against the Berbers. But I'm going to leave this one to you guys. Do you want me to fight this one? Or do you want me to decline and retreat back and fight another day? Because no doubt, if I do decline, the city will fall, the Berbers will take it, and that will be one more that they control. So do you want me to let that happen, or should I fight and try and defend with my allies? 
let me know down below. Much to look forward to with this campaign. We're going to get it back though. Especially with that other army which as I say completely didn't know were there like I did with the, yeah, with another army that was spawned there a few two episodes ago. I didn't know to say were there either so I seemed to be completely up for some reason. Just never seeing that they're, they're being given to me for some reason. But anyway, they're there now. We'll use them. That's going to turn this campaign back on its head I hope. So all you need to do, let me know down below what you want me to do with this uh, battle. But if you've enjoyed this part, please do drop a like. And uh, it shall be back very soon with another episode. But until then, this is Warrior Spider for now saying farewell.